Hey, my good friend, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV at the SEMA show in Las Vegas this year. Something really interesting here. I think one of the most captivating vehicles of the show. This is the Toyota Tacoma Tacozilla. And this is a camper, which is actually designed to be sort of a retro throwback to the Chinook that was built on the Toyota trucks late 70s, early 80s. And it really sort of shows that overlanding camping is coming back and they're coming up with new ways for us to integrate our current products into that. So let's have a quick look. The Toyota Takazilla camper concept arrives to us in an era where tiny houses and overlanding are buzzwords we hear all the time. In such, the minds at Toyota decided to pack up something special by rekindling the retro theme that some might remember from the 1970s and 1980s in the compact Toyota Chinook campers that were ubiquitous at the time. Starting with the Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport 4x4, the team set out to create the feel and the look of the Chinook with a modern flair, but more importantly, bring it into today's penchant for overlanding, which is a more rugged tint to what we used to call camping. Here, we need to go off-road and have a vehicle capable of doing more than parking on the tarmac of a national park campsite. To wit, Toyota built the Takozilla with a carefully designed space frame and a crafted aluminum skin to keep it tight and rugged. Following the lines of the Tacoma, they wrap the exterior with a retro striping scheme that fits the bill well. On the hood is a cartoon Tacozilla graphic that I just think is cute AF. The interior is a world of highly crafted detail with a fine suite of amenities, a full bath, hot running water, a full kitchen, and a 4x4 skylight to keep it bright. A nicely modern interior design features teak flooring and handsome fabrics. The living room area is designed so that a six foot tall person can walk it fully without bumping their head. No detail is spared, including the custom tapered rear door that follows the creased curvature of the rear silhouette. The interior has a handsome leather upholstery with diamond stitch custom work. The rear seat of the access cab was removed to allow wide and open area for a pass through. Making the engineering a challenge, it was the fully integrated structural design that can withstand off-roading without creasing or cracking critical junctions like the opening pass-through from the cab into the rear cabin. I think it was worth the work as this one detail brings the whole thing together. Believe it or not, most of the Toyota Tacoma suspension and drivetrain is left stock. There's an upgraded set of 285-7017 General Tire Grabber X3 All-Terrain tires for the standard TRD Sport suspension. Powering the Takozilla is also the standard 3.5 liter V6 and running gear though a slick TRD snorkel intake was added for additional water fording depth. After all, this is overlanding, not camping. All right, that was Tacozilla. I like it. I want one of these at home right now in my driveway so I can take it up to Flagstaff and spend a week up there, or anywhere for that matter. Now, we have a lot of coverage here at the SEMA Show, and you can see our full playlist right there on the big square. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel just below that on that big round logo. Either way, Stay tuned. Oh.